Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video, we're gonna go over the topic, how to dress as a nurse. I know this topic may be a little self-explanatory because you know you just show up at work with scrubs on. What more is there to it? But after working those long 12-hour shifts, I can tell you there are some little tips and tricks that you need to know before you start working and some things that you just may never think of. So let's get started. The very first thing we're gonna start from toe and go to up to head. Very first thing is your shoes. You want comfortable, comfortable shoes. I really don't recommend any brand. There's a lot of brands out there. What you need to do is try them on. Before you buy a pair of shoes, go to your local shoe store, nursing store, and try the shoes on because if Dance Co's works for you, may not work for your friend. You always wanna make sure those shoes are good because your feet are different. And you wanna keep your shoes closed toed and no holes in them. I know there for a while, there was a brand that had holes in them that was a really popular thing to wear. But as nurses, we're constantly coming into contact with germs, like stool, pee, and blood. I don't know how many times as a nurse I've been starting an IV and blood has just gushed out onto my shoe, or I was changing a bedpan and stool went everywhere. So I would never want to have those holes in my shoes because it's just going to get on your feet and then you're going to track that home and it's just gross. So always have no holes in your shoes and buy some inserts for your shoes. If you have feet that you just can never find anything that's comfortable, I really recommend that you get some type of inserts. I use inserts in my shoes and they are amazing and they really help with leg fatigue. Okay, next compression stockings. Believe it or not, men and both women wear these. This help, these are little stockings that go on your feet. You can get knee high, thigh high, and it just helps support your legs to prevent leg fatigue and varicose veins after those 12 hour shifts. Whenever I first started out, I really didn't wear them and I noticed that at home, whenever I was trying to sleep after my shift, my legs would be killing me. But then someone recommended that I wear some compression stockings and they were amazing and I've seen a big difference. So definitely invest in a pair of those. Next, scrubs. Of course, that's the no-brainer, but here's some tips with some scrubs. You want to make sure that they fit you right. You don't want them skin tight and you don't want them super baggy because you're going to, because whenever you're working as a nurse, you're up and down those halls, you're moving, you're bending, you're twisting, you're doing everything and you want to make sure that they keep you covered. You don't want to bend over and your backside hangs out or your front side hangs out. Patients don't want to see that. You don't want to expose that. So just make sure you try on scrubs and that they fit great. Next, always try to go with something that is going to help you at work, like with pockets. My favorite thing about scrubs are the pockets because I put my report sheets, I put pins, I put everything in my pockets. And a lot of scrubs, they like to concentrate on style rather, rather than being smart with pockets. So make sure you look that, look those over if that's important to you. Next, watch. As a nurse, you need a watch because during those 12 hour shifts, we are constantly looking at the clock. We're saying, what time are we have to give our meds? What time is it so I can date and time this? So you want to invest in a good watch. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just as long as it tells the time and keeps the time. And one tip that I just want to give you is that you want to make sure you clean your watch at least after every shift. You know, at our little alcoves on the units, we have little cavi wipes or sanita sanitation wipes, and you just want to clean that watch because think about it. You're constantly, you're putting on gloves, you're going in, you're cleaning patients, you're helping them bathe, you're doing a lot of things, and that watch is just getting dirt and germs and everything on that. And if you wear that watch also, it's not just your work watch, it's your watch that you wear every day, you wanna make sure that you're keeping that clean. So I really recommend that. That's just a little tip I wanted to throw in there. And make sure, of course, if you're not good with the military time, especially if you're just first starting out, you'll wanna watch that helps you convert to military time. And of course, it shows the little date and the time up because again, everything as a nurse, we date and time. Next, um, believe it or not, a lot of people are not aware of this, but we most at most hospitals, it's against policy to have any type of fake fingernails. And the reason is, is because they harbor germs. And one study has shown that um, they did like a 
little study of nurses who wore fake fingernails and they cultured the nails and they were found under those nails to have MRSA, a super bug. And you can transmit that to your patients, to your family, anything like that. So those little nails on your fingers harbor germs. So that's why you probably don't want to have those at all. And next, simple jewelry. Again, as nurses, we're running, we're constantly going back and forth. And sometimes we have combative patients who are confused. And if you're wearing dangly earrings or a long necklace or a bracelet or anything like that, that's just something for that patient to grab you on or it's something that you'll lose while you're bending, moving around. So just try to keep it simple because a lot of jewelry is expensive and you don't want to lose it. So that's another tip I have. And next, lab coats. Lab coats are awesome because not only do they have pockets, but they keep you warm. And believe it or not, this is something I never thought about, but they protect you. I worked in an area where I came into contact a lot with radioactive material. And um, just to prevent any type of spills or anything, we are encouraged to wear a lab jacket. And that's because if that radioactive material, someone messed up and they sprayed them with the radioactive agent, the lab coat would help protect your skin so you wouldn't get it on your arm. So that just helps you. So if you're changing a patient, patient throws up, that's just another barrier you have to prevent getting those germs on you. So that's another great thing for a lab coat. And makeup. Makeup is one of the things, whenever you're working your 12 hour shifts, that's like one of the last things us women want to do is put it on because we're so tired. But makeup, just try to keep it modest. Don't wear anything like fluorescent or vibrant or anything like that because you don't want your patients to remember you as that nurse who has the blue eyeshadow or something like that. Just try to keep it simple and try to keep it modest. And you're probably going to find that makeup is the last thing from your mind whenever going to work and hair if you have hair like my hair is longer than my shoulders and your hair is longer than your shoulders i really recommend that you keep it up at work and here's why personal experience i one time was changing a patient and i just had it pulled back in a little in a ponytail and the patient had c diff so here i am in all my blue garb my gloves and everything and i'm changing the patient and all of a sudden my hair just sweeps over my shoulder and almost it didn't thank thank heavens, but it almost went into the C. diff stool. So luckily I learned something from that. I always try to put my hair up in a bun or keep it braided out of the way because our hair at the most inconvenient time will sweep over your arm and try to get in whatever germs are present in front of you. So if you have long hair, keep it up in a bun and keep it out of the germs. So those are some tips on how to dress as a nurse. Um, I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea and you took away some tips from this. And thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.